Hey guys, Erman May here back with another video. Today's video is going to be about excellence in discrepancies and what happens if you get in trouble at BMT. Nobody made videos about what happens if you get in trouble. You're probably thinking, I'm not gonna get in trouble. Why would I get in trouble? I'm gonna do everything I'm told. But the secret is, you are gonna get in trouble and you're not gonna do everything you're told. For example, you just might not be able to do your face movements right. You might not be able to get up in time or move fast enough. Or they come to you and ask you a question and you might not know what the answer to that question is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you what we call in the Air Force a excellence in discrepancy report right here known as a 341 boom right here so what this paper is this is one of the things that you're most likely going to be carrying when you go to BMT it's going to look slightly different than this but this is something you will have to carry when you get in trouble or you do something good as known as give me a 341 or give me a 341 for excellence Wink. <laughs> Some of the things that I found funny or did not know going, you're going to get a uh, 341 for all kinds of stuff. For those of you that are going to BMT or going to Lackland, what you're gonna have to know is some memory work. Now in my squadron in the 321st, we basically had to know our chain of command and we had to be tested on wingman concepts. You have to learn the different ranks in your chain of command and who and what their names are basically. Sometimes you have people or um, sergeants that will come and pull you aside while you're in the middle of drill or class. Most times when you're in drill, they will ask you a question. Like, what's your chain of command? Or what does this symbol mean? And that's some part of the things like they'll have you do or that they'll do to test you spontaneously. And it can happen to anybody. Well, my best advice is if you guys get memory work, it's to study your memory work, learn your Airman's Creed, and learn your Airman's Song because that is uh, something you're going to be doing every single day. Part of it, the ranks are the most important. As for the wingman concept, the wingman concept is a huge test. What they they beat into your head there is never leave your wingman behind you say this all the time the wingman is literally that person your go-to it's your comrade your partner you don't want to leave them behind the biggest thing that people do is fail that wingman concept test and you won't realize it for example a sergeant will come over or MTI will come over to you and you'll be in the middle of drill and they'll be like you come here they'll most likely try to separate you. Say like if you're not in the middle of drill, you're walking with someone. An MTI would purposely stop you both and say, you come here. Just to single you out. And if you l go alone, if you go alone, you basically fail. Both of you guys get these 341s put because you failed your wingman. And that is what they test you on. The trick is you have to learn how to say, so trainee so-and-so reports as ordered. With all due respect, I can't leave my wingman behind. If you do that right and you can remember, you might get a 341 of excellence. Boom. Whoop, wait. <laughs> Boom. You want that. If you happen to get in trouble for anything else, say like if you move at a position of attention like I did, don't scratch your face. That gets you in trouble. Don't talk. Don't get caught. T caught talking when you're not supposed to talk because that'll get you in trouble. You would end up going to see your MTI later and you would you would go in his office and you will sign the reason why you failed to do something the right way. That's where the discrepancies comes in. Like if you're in a chow hall, I almost got mines pulled for trying to say pass something at the chow hall. You gotta get real crafty when you're in the defect at BMT. I'm sorry, because you're not supposed to be talking. It's not that I'm saying try to get away with stuff, because I'm not. What I'm trying to say is just do what you're supposed to do and be smart about it. That is one of the things you have to look out for. 341s, they're not too much of a huge deal, but if you get too many pulled, you can get washed back, you can get recycled, and it doesn't look good while you're at BMT. You don't want any hiccups while you're there. So just stay on your work, try to study if you can, remember your chain of command, then you should be fine. Don't get caught talking. I hope you guys like this video. It was a short video. I hope you guys like this video. Give a like down below the video subscribe or hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos I make videos every single week most likely going to be Sundays Wednesdays and Fridays possibly I'll try to have a set schedule anyways I thank you guys for watching Airman May is out of here see you guys later peace Give me a 341.
one.